Hey there, thanks for stopping by and welcome back to my channel. I'm Devi Sundar, by professional trained a risk surgery physio and a psychotherapist, and now specializing in neuroscience and hypnotherapy. Today, I'm delving into the fascinating world of breathing and its profound impact on our lung and brain health. Yes, you heard it right. Deep breathing isn't just for relaxation, it is a powerful tool for boosting our cognitive function and enhances our lung health and the brain health. Before I could jump into the video further, if you have not already done, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified on my weekly content. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Let's start by understanding the neuroscience behind deep breathing. When we take a slow, deep breath, we activate our parasympathetic nervous system, triggering that relaxed response in our body. This activation leads to an increased activity within the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for executive functions such as decision making, problem solving and emotional regulation. Moreover, the deep breathing stimulates the release of neurotransmitters like gamma aminobutyric acid and serotonin, which promotes a feeling of calmness and well-being. From a neuroscience perspective, the deep breathing engages the brain's default mode network, a network of brain regions that are active when the brain is at rest and not focused on the outside world. By quietening the default mode network, deep breathing reduces the mind's ability to wander or ruminate, allowing to a greater focus and attention. Additionally, deep breathing enhances neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize and form a new neural connections, which is crucial for learning and memory. It's also important to consider deep breathing have a greater impact on our lung capacity and the natural decline of our lung age. I have explained about the lung age and uh, lung capacities in my previous video. So those uh, video links are in the description box below. So uh, in your own time and go and watch it so that you can get more information on what I'm talking now. So let's go back to this video now so as we age our lung capacity naturally decreases leading to a reduced oxygen intake and potentially impacting our lung function however regular deep breathing exercises can help maintain the lung function and even improve the respiratory efficiency by expanding the lung to the full capacity deep breathing exercises promote better oxygen exchange and blood flow delivering nutrients and oxygen to the brain these neuroscience concepts, coupled with the benefits of the lung health, are supported by evidence from both UK and global research communities. According to a report by NICE, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence in UK, mindfulness-based interventions, including deep breathing exercises, are recommended to the treatment of depression and anxiety. Similarly, the World Health Organization, WHO, recognizes the importance of mental health promotion strategies such as deep breathing in improving the overall well-being. In my practice over 22 years, I have heard patients' testimonials that deep breathing uh, incorporated into their daily lives um, reduces their anxiety, stress, and improves their mental clarity by instilling the neural serenity and also boosts their oxygen uptake and lung performance. So there you have it, folks, the neuroscience of deep breathing and its profound impact on brain health coupled with the benefits for the lung function and its aging. Whether you're looking to boost your cognitive abilities or reduce stress or enhance your overall well-being, incorporating the deep breathing exercises into your daily routine can make a world of difference. Remember, your brain deserves a breath of fresh air too. As usual, stay curious, stay healthy. Signing off, Devi Sundar.